Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm Debbie Siegel with Yoga Girls, and this will be the second in my series of Q the Qs. So you can find it following that hashtag Q the Qs, where I will be trying to attempting to clear up some of the cues that we hear in yoga classes. Today's cue I'm focusing on on is squaring your hips to the mat. And squaring your hips to the mat, if you think about a square, you know, it's four equal distant lines, four 90 degree angles. So that is inherent in the use of that word. And it generally just means, like for example, in a downward facing dog, your hips are an equal distance from the mat. Same in tabletop, right? Where it comes into play more is when you're in three-legged positions, like three-legged dog. This is not squared to the mat. In this three-legged version, my hips are squared to the mat or the floor. And then in high lunge, where your back heel is over your toe mound, your knee pit rising toward sky, this front knee in a 90 degree bend, and your chest is lifted. This is a high lunge. Again, my hips squared to the mat. So I'm drawing my right hip back, pulling my left hip forward to keep them also squared to the front edge of the mat. I like the cue, uh, point your hips like they're headlights. So that's a good one I like to use. So this is squared to the mat below and squared to the front edge of the mat. It's also what we attempt to accomplish in warrior one pose where our back foot is placed at about a 45 degree angle and our knees and feet are hip width distance. Again, hips squared to the floor, so I'm actually adjusting my right hip kind of down, my left hip up, and right hip back, and left hip forward to create this squared to the front edge and squared to the mat. 